said to gather everywhere we go and it's e we don't put things into landfills we don't uh, we, we reutilize everything that goes into that barn comes back out we we use it again the animals even the animals that we produce when they go to market there's no waste coming from those animals. Care. There's going to be a process, right? And, and the majority of people are really good with that, understanding that like, it's important to, for your hair to feel good, right? So we take a lot of pride in, in protecting and still being able to do these awesome transformations, right? Okay, okay we're going to go one. one arm at a time. We're going to go up for two and down for two. Counts. Up for two and down for two. Up for two and down. So you have the shoulders Am I going pulsing? out too. That's what I'm doing. We can. We okay. okay. I can't help it. <laughs> I, I, I'm like hearing we're going music to a beat. in my yeah, head. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Welcome back to Sarnia Lambton today. My next guest works for an organization that helps a lot of people, people you don't even know about. Maybe an organization you don't even know about. Joining me right now is Jane Anima, and Jane, you are from Sarnia Community Foundation, and uh, I, I, I gotta say, I'm sure a lot of people have no idea that you guys are even here, right? Well. That's actually true. It's something we work on periodically, but the real reality... Well, I think I give myself a framework. You know, I give myself a very detailed drawing. And then uh, when it comes to the texture and the form, I, I have a theory that there's no such thing as an uninformed brush stroke. So what made you want to do the final report? Well, uh, obviously I did the Mercer report for 15 years and I wrapped up the show, so I thought it had a nice ring to it. <laughs> The first ever board of directors was put in place in uh, late 82, I think. And they put together the games that you, as you see them today. So I'm boxing for, actually for about 10 years now. I joined the gym when I was 16. Um, I was actually weighing over 300 pounds. My friend Riley Myers was a Golden Glove boxer at the time in Ontario. and. Uh, I wanted to lose some weight and said, you know what, there's no workout like boxing, come on in and try it out with me. So I boxed with him for the first year. Um, I never planned on being a fighter or anything actually, just to get in shape. And I lost over 120 pounds in the first year. So one of the coaches from the gym came up and asked me, he said, you should take one fight to kind of promote what you do, your weight loss and what the gym can do for you. And uh, I wanted to show the community and everybody what it's done for me. So I took one amateur fight and uh, I fell in love with the sport and 